and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of GWA Supercharged. I am Joe Davis. We're coming live from Las Vegas, Nevada in the Grand Ballroom. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, it appears we're going to be joined to start the evening with the World Tag Team Champions, the Eliminators. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 500 pounds, the Global Wrestling Alliance World Tag Team Champions, the Coalition. Well, they are members of the Coalition. They are the tag team of the Coalition is Cliff Russell and Vince Dixon, the Eliminators, were defeated by Sergio and Bob last week here on the show. It looks like they got something to say, so we're going to send it down to the ring. The Eliminators calling out Sergio and Bob, and here they are. Well, that seems a little strange to me. The Eliminators challenging Bob and Sergio, but they didn't want the match right this moment, so we'll see that later on tonight. We're also going to see Roderick Strong in action once again when he steps into the ring and goes one-on-one -on -one with Justin Reed. Zia Lee makes her wrestling debut here on Supercharged when she goes one-on-one -on -one with Asuka. And in our main event, we're going to have big Bubba Mason taking on the world's heavyweight champion, the blueprint, Owen Gerald Sexton. But first, and coming up next, our opening bout, tag team matchup, Vicious and Delicious, take on the women's world tag team champions, Power and Glory. LeRae and Indy Hartwell have that interesting matchup, that interesting situation where they get to take on the champions, Power and Glory, Lacey Evans and Whitney Duncan. And in this interesting scenario, if they can defeat Power and Glory, you got to believe that that will move them right to the top of the list 
of potential number one contenders for the GWA Women's World Tag Team titles. But they gotta get through Lacey Evans and Whitney Duncan. Tag Team Champions, set for action here tonight on Supercharged. Indy Hartwell gonna be starting things out with Whitney Duncan. The official calls for the bell, we are underway, a block by Hartwell, forearm shot to Duncan. Hartwell now unloading and sending her across the ring. Catches her with a spinning kick. One. And only a one. But very, very early in the matchup. Down across the arm with both feet. It's a good way to separate an elbow joint. And Hartwell with Duncan sends her to the corner. The tag to Candice LeRae and now the double team Across the ring goes Duncan. Back elbows, catches right on the jaw. One. And a one, Whitney Duncan gets the kick out. Drop kick by LeRae, and so far, vicious and delicious. Working over Whitney Duncan. LeRae now on the second rope, waiting for her opponent. Double axe handle smash. Here's another cover. One. And still only a one. Duncan not willing to give it up. But she's going to have to make a tag to Lacey Evans very, very soon. She's been taking a lot of punishment at the hands of Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Head first into the turnbuckle. And Duncan now with a shot right to the face, coming out of the corner, and there's an elbow. Another right to the side of the head. Make that a triplet. And Duncan gonna use that opportunity to make the tag. Evans in. Evans gets caught, and now Evans, the headlock takedown. And so far, Lacey Evans has been able to gather some momentum here against Candice LeRae. And already going over to make the tag, Whitney Duncan back in. They're gonna question that and now kick right to the back of the leg, back of the knee, and Candice trying to run for high ground, but the official actually kind of got in the way there. Elbow by LeRae, there's a kick to the shin, and one right to the jaw, and there's the tag. Indy Hartwell back in as the legal competitor. Stiff kick right to the lower spinal region. And Hartwell with Duncan, face first into the canvas. Here's the cover. One, two, no. Two count this time for Indy Hartwell. Duncan back in the corner, not where she wants to be. Elbow to the face. And suplex hooked up, sent over. Duncan now with Hartwell into her own corner now. Uh, 
A shot right to the leg, and now a European uppercut, it looked like, by Duncan. And Fisherman Suplex hooked the leg, popped the hips. Perfect technique by Whitney Duncan, and tag Lacey Evans. Once again, legal, and power and glory turning things around here. And drop kick right between the shoulder blades. Lacey Evans, well, she got she got reversed, and now Indy Hartwell with a shot. Another one right to the kidneys. Back area. Sent across the ring, and look at this. Huda Karana. Indy Hartwell from the ground up. A rope break this time. I don't think she could have got the three there anyhow, but be that as it may. Hartwell hooks up. Evans with the hammerlock DDT. Here's the cover. One, two. No, the left shoulder of Lacey Evans comes off the canvas. This match will continue. And now Hartwell scooping, no reversal into the neck breaker by Lacey Evans. And Evans now picked the leg but kicked away by Hartwell and the drop kick. Evans once again in the corner, tag, and in comes Candice LeRae. The drop total drops the elbow right into the, uh, the spinal area, the spinal region, kicked by Evans. LeRae puts on the brakes. Look at this, choke slam by Evans, reversed into an arm drag by Candice LeRae. Takes the legs and now wrapping her up. Oh, we've seen this before. Curb stop. Face first into the canvas. There's a shot and a drop kick and Whitney Duncan takes a tumble. Kick right to the midsection by Candice LeRae. Knee, no, that was blocked by Evans. There's a block and tripped up and into the submission. Lacey Evans in trouble, but broken up by Whitney Duncan. Um, I have no idea what Candice LeRae was doing just then. I'm a little, uh, little dumbfounded on that one, folks. But a tag, and Indy Hartwell comes back in, punishing Lacey Evans some more. Evans with a kick to the midsection. Wrapped up the arm, and look, look at this. Look at this escape by Hartwell. Very impressive. Another shot sends Evans back down to the canvas. And Hartwell now over to Duncan, who once again takes a tumble. Indy Hartwell has Evans right where she wants her. Sidewalk slam into the cover. And that's it. A huge victory for Vicious and Delicious Indy Hartwell. Bam! With the sidewalk slam, gains the victory, and they have a victory now over the Women's World Tag Team Champions. A huge win for Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. And, oh, come on! Wait a second! Vicious and Delicious showing their vicious side, and look at this! 
Indy Hartwell viciously attacking Lacey Evans. Both Evans and Duncan dumped to the outside of the ring. That was completely uncalled for. Oh, uh, well, that's going to get caught off, but uh, Sexton obviously concerned about the events unfolding here tonight. Coming up next, we got Roderick Strong going one-on-one -on -one with Justin Reed. Roderick Strong had an impressive victory over Sheik Amir here on Supercharged last week. Was then introduced or welcomed to GWA by the United States Heavyweight Champion L.A. Knight, another member of the coalition. But regardless, Roderick Strong again looked very impressive looking to add to that momentum that he's beginning to build here in GWA. In order to do that, he's got to get through the Lightning Kid, Justin Reed. Justin Reed making his way down to the ring for one-on-one -on -one action here on Supercharged against Roderick Strong. And I gotta tell you, this, this could be match of the night, I feel like, ladies and gentlemen. We're in for a good one. Roderick Strong, Justin Reed, and we're ready to go. There's the bell. Lock up center of the ring by these two. Trips him up, does Justin Reed. And a block on that kick for Strong. And Roderick now hooks up Justin Reed. And look at this. Look at this strength, this technique by Roderick Strong with one arm down. Crashing down into the center of the ring. Cover by Strong. One, only a one that time kick out by Justin Reed. Still later on tonight in our main event, we will have big Bubba Mason taking on Owen Gerald Sexton. We're also gonna have a rematch 
of the Eliminators and Bob and Sergio one, no oh, one count that time for Roderick Strong. And we're also going to see the in-ring, well the supercharged in-ring debut of Zaya Lee as she takes on the Empress of Tomorrow in Asuka. Roderick Strong now with the Indian Deathlock here on Justin Reed. And so far, this match has been all strong all the way. Reed now sent face first into the top turnbuckle. And a back against the... Whoa! What a belly-to-belly -belly suplex by Roderick Strong. Toss him across the ring. Here's the cover. One, two, and no. Two count that time for Roderick Strong and drops the knee, but no one home. Reed able to avoid it. Justin Reed now with Strong in the ropes and now ripping and tearing at the left arm. It's a good way to tear some ligaments. Trips him up with a single leg takedown. Yeah, rubbing his face in it. And it is the super kick. Just like that in a split second, Reed's got it. One, two, three. No, no, how close was that? Justin Reed with the super kick. And now we're seeing some life out of the Lightning Kid. And a block by Strong, clothesline. Now Roderick Strong has Reed on the shoulders into the gut buster. And Roderick Strong is feeling it. He's got Justin Reed in the crosshairs. Hooks him up into the long blower. Cover by Strong. One, two, got him. Roderick Strong with another impressive victory. Look at this. Suplex into the long blower. And Roderick Strong picks up another monumental victory here on Supercharged. Certainly gathering momentum is Roderick Strong. And wait a second. Once again, here is the United States Heavyweight Champion. L.A. Knight making his way out here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, you can feel the tension building. You can cut it with a knife. It's so thick. And now standing face to face LA Knight and Roderick Strong Sounds like we have seen the end of the Spitfire Warriors, according to Io Shirai. But coming up next, Zia Lee takes on Asuka. Zia Lee 
had won that eight-woman over-the-top battle royal over in Tokyo, Japan at the International Wrestling Invitational to win a contract to come here to Global Wrestling Alliance. She's looking to make an impact here. But tonight, she goes up against the Empress of Tomorrow. We're talking about Asuka, and I thought that Justin Reed and Roderick Strong could steal the show. This one could be a downright barn burner. Tomorrow, Asuka making her way down to the ring for one-on-one -on -one action against Zia Lee. And ever since this match was announced, I, I, I got chills. I got goosebumps. I know what this match could be, the potential of what we could see out of these two women here tonight. Oh boy! We know how intense Asuka can be, her striking and submission ability. We've seen very little of Zia Lee up to this point. What surprises does Zia Lee have in store here tonight? Just cuts out the hand and now slap right to the face. That was probably a very, very bad idea. Well, the bell sounds and Zia Lee, with her mixed martial arts abilities, had a couple shots, but now the spinning kick by Asuka. And right into the triangle choke, and Zia Lee has nowhere to go. Can she do anything with this? She's able to make it to her feet, and look at the strength by Zia Lee. Slams Asuka back down, able to break the hold. That disrespectful slap to the face, and a backflip out of the German suplex, and the drop kick by Zia Lee. And another one now, right to the back of the head. Well, here's a cover. Not even a one. Stiff kick right to the upper spinal region. And Zia Lee going to work with that striking ability. Elbow right to the knee, caught it. And went for the neck breaker, reversal by Zaya. And now, Asuka up against the ropes. Zia Lee uses them for momentum, comes down with a stop. One, only a one this time. Now, sending Asuka to the far side of the ring, runs right in after her with a forearm shot. Zia Lee now with the right hands to the face. Here's a cover. One, two, and this time Zia Lee gets a two count on Asuka. Asuka with a kick right to the face. Caught her flush right in the forehead. And there's a shot to the midsection. Asuka looking for the hip attack. Caught her. One, two, no. Zia Lee gets the left shoulder off the canvas at the last moment. Asuka now coming back, and Asuka locks it in. She's got the Asuka lock on her grapevine. Zia Lee has nowhere to go. This one is over. 
Zia Lee fighting it. And she's prying the hands away. Elbow to the face. And Zia Lee has broken the Oscar lock. I can't believe it. There's a block by Zia Lee. The palm strike right on the chin. Stomp right to the midsection. And Zia Lee with the spinning kick right to the back of the head. Cover. One, two, no. Long two count for Zia Lee. What a matchup this has been. Knee right to the face, right to the temple, and Asuka is not done yet. And into the half tiger suplex, cover, one, two, got her. No, didn't get her, still only a two. Still a two count, says the official. And back to the triangle choke. And with the amount of damage that has been done, I don't think Zia Lee has a choice. I think she's gonna have to give it up here. No, she's still fighting it. And again, look at the power of Zia Lee. Once again, able to break the submission hold. Zia Lee caught her with the spin kick to the face. What a shot. One, two, and it's over. What a huge victory for Zia Lee. An upset, if I do say so myself, able to break the triangle choke. And as Asuka was making her way to her feet, got caught with the spinning kick by Zia Lee. And that was enough to gain the victory. Zia Lee has arrived. And now she's calling out the women's world champion. Well, coming up next, tag team action as Sergio and Bob take on the, wait a minute, no, I hear, something's happened backstage. We're gonna get cued into, that's, a, that's one of our cameras in the back. Sergio, Sergio has been laid out. What the hell has happened? I'm, I'm gonna need some information. Somebody tell me what the hell has happened to Sergio Dondelinger, please. Well, here comes Bob all alone. Well, no wonder the Eliminators didn't want the match right away when they called out Sergio and Bob. It's been, it's very apparent that Sergio Dondelinger has been assaulted in the back. And I can give you three guesses on who were the ones that assaulted Sergio. Your first two guesses don't even count. It's blatantly obvious. And now apparently, this has been turned into a handicap match. And it's gonna be Bob against the Eliminators and damn it, it's not right. Well, Cliff Russell and Vince Dixon sure have pulled a fast one on the Fighting Irishman and Bob here tonight. Bob, I already know that Bob is not going to back down from this fight. There's no way in hell. But I don't, I don't see this ending well for Bob. I really don't. Not that Bob can't hold his own. 
But the Eliminators are the World Tag Team Champions, and they are for a reason, whether you like them or whether you don't. He's going to start out things with Cliff Russell, and this is, this is in fact a handicap match. Look at this strength by Bob. If we get another update regarding the health of Sergio Dondelinger, we'll be sure to give that update to you. And not even a one for Bob there that time. I understand that some paramedics are there in the back. They're checking over Bob. He's been split wide open. There is no official word of what has happened to Sergio Dondelinger, but again, I think I already know. Now here's the tag, in comes Vince Dixon now. Cliff Russell was unable to do anything with Bob, and Vince Dixon now over the top into the floor. Bob now trying to do everything that he can on his own. Buries the left hand right into the midsection, and look at Bob go! Hooks the arm, suplex on the outside. Bob now with a blatant choke, but hell, he's got to do whatever he's got to do here. It's one on two. The official's up to five. But now he's biting, he's biting the fingers of Vince Dixon. Bob now sending Dixon back in the ring here. Walking right past Cliff Russell. Dive and a tag and Russell back in. Open hand shot right to the chest. And now Russell over the top. And look at Bob. Clotheslines Dixon over the top and a rolling kick right to the head of Bob. Bob shoves him away. And Bob with a clubbing blow right to the spine. And so far, and there's a face buster. So far, homeless Bob has taken on both members of the Eliminators and he is just wiping the floor with them. There's a one count for Bob. The Eliminators had unable to do anything. Well, drop kick, but it didn't fit. And there's another, only staggers the big man. Over 300 pounds, and there's another rolling kick by Cliff Russell. Bob back to his feet, got caught. Clothesline by Cliff Russell. And now Russell sends Bob to the corner. Tag, and now the numbers game gonna start to take its toll. Belly to belly suplex by Vince Dixon. Face first into the canvas. And again, a third time. He's gonna roll him over here, go for the cover, one. Two, three. No, still only a two. Dixon now in control. And Bob, now Bob looks like he's been split wide open at the hands of the Eliminators. Down across the left arm. There's an elbow to the face. Bob still not done fighting. There's a knee strike right on the chin. And again with the rolling kick by Cliff Russell. Oh yeah, look at the blood flowing and an elbow to the face. That's not gonna help matters any. And again. Well, Cliff Russell and Vince Dixon doing a number on Bob here. There's the modified Russian leg sweep. And no doubt have also done a number on Sergio Dondalinger here tonight. Claiming they wanted a rematch with Bob and Sergio. And it was a setup all along. We heard Don Holmes earlier tonight saying that they had come up with a foolproof plan. This has to be it, and it has been working to perfection for them here tonight.
And now Dixon with Bob sends him face first into the corner. Vince Dixon just lighting him up. There's the jab to the jaw. Clothesline right to the back of the head. And Bob wraps up the arm, sends Dixon to the, oh, he went for the senton. Dixon got the knees up. Look at this. What a suplex by Vince Dixon. Again, head first into the canvas. Another time. Dixon measures his shot. Drop kick right to the face. And at this point, I'm going to have to question maybe the official just needs to end this thing, just needs to stop it. Drop kick by Russell off the tag. Because you know all they're trying to do is send a message, but Bob trips him up. Russell back to his feet. Bob hooks him up. Power slam. Cover. One, two, and broken up by Vince Dixon. Bob just has no one to turn to, no partner. And here he is once again taking on the Eliminators by himself. Scoop here. Vince Dixon to the outside. Hung up to dry is Cliff Russell. Then back up to his feet. Look at this. The strength on display. Kicked away by Russell. Bob going in again. Clothesline by Cliff Russell. Went for the rolling kick, but Bob blocked it. Elbow to the face. And Russell now takes him down with the head scissors. Bob rolls out of the way of the elbow drop. He's fighting. He's fighting with everything in his soul against the best tag team in the business. Elbow to the top of the head. And once again, the modified Russian leg sweep by Cliff Russell. And Russell is just not letting up. Suplex into the elbow combination. Okay, I think that's about enough. And here's the tag. Once again, the double team. What a shot. The inverted atomic drop into the big boot. And now Vince Dixon measuring. He's measuring Bob. Reversal going for the power bomb. Dixon gets reversed. And Bob still, still has fight left in him. My God. Can you believe this? Oh. Uh, once again, shot down by Vince Dixon. And uh, what a shot again. How much more? How much more can Bob take? I know he's a tough guy, but my God. What a shot right to the face. What the hell is he doing? No, don't tell me. Vince Dixon, power bomb off the top. My God, that's got to be it. Two, three, no. How, how, how? The right shoulder off the canvas and homeless Bob showing the heart of a champion, the heart of a warrior. Well, Cliff Russell again with the suplex elbow drop combination. One, two, mercifully, mercifully, this one is finally over. But what price did Bob pay for this? There's the elbow drop, el uh, back drop elbow 
combination again, but finally what did Bob in. Here are your winners, the Eliminator. Well, I sure damn hope that the Coalition and the Eliminators are proud of themselves for what they've done here tonight. They have picked apart Bob and Sergio Dondelinger. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you join us on Sunday, February the 4th, as Global Wrestling Alliance presents Merciless. Well, it is now main event time. Big Bubba Mason squares off with the blueprint, Owen Gerald Sexton. Big Bubba Mason. I bet you he's wanting to get his hands on Owen Gerald Sexton just as much as anybody else these days. He's got that opportunity right here tonight. Sexton was talking to Don Holmes earlier, saying that they need a plan. Our video feed to their locker room got cut off before we got to hear what that plan was. But nonetheless, We've already saw the plan that the Eliminators had for Bob and Sergio. Can only imagine this plan here for Bubba Mason, and he's waiting. And here is the world's heavyweight champion. Oh, he said he wants nothing to do with him. Is that the plan? Is it? Wait a second! It's Mad Dog Chris Van Diver, and he's not going to let him walk away from this. He's going to send him right in to the wolf. That is Big Bubba Mason. Sexton backing up, but he can't back up far enough. Mason with the shoulder, or the, the forearm into the lower back, and now the submission, the grip on the trapezius muscles. You know that Chris Van Diver also has a score to settle with the world's champion, Owen Gerald Sexton. Last week, Sexton and Van Diver were scheduled to have a match, the main event of last week's episode. But instead, Owen Gerald Sexton assaulted Chris Van Diver a couple of times with a steel chair. And because of that, Van Diver was not going to allow Owen Gerald Sexton to walk away from this matchup. Gut wrench. Into the Dominator by Big Bubba. One, two, no. See Don Holmes there on the outside of the ring and Mason missing the elbow drop. What a shot by the blueprint. He's now got to cut off Big Bubba somehow, some way. He's doing it bit by bit here. Apparently, their big plan was to just avoid this match altogether. Owen Gerald Sexton looked like he was going to just walk away from this one. Mad Dog Chris Van Diver was not going to allow it to happen, so Sexton has no choice but to fight. He's got the Indian death lock, or did, on Big Bubba just then. Stiff kick right to the lower spinal region. Down on the left shoulder joint. Here's the cover. One and only a one and a kick out by Mason. Buries the right hand right into the bread bash kit of Owen Gerald Sexton. The gut wrench into the Dominator once again. And Big Bubba is rolling here. Drops the elbow. That's got to be like a Hashmer. One, two, no. 
Two count and Sexton rolls the left shoulder off the canvas. And headbutt right to the forehead of Owen Gerald Sexton and Bubba Mason hooks him up. And look at this. Oh no! Power bomb over the top and to the floor. That could have broke Owen Gerald Sexton in half. Bubba Mason looking to deal the damage, going after Don Holmes. Don Holmes running. I mean, wouldn't you from a man like Big Bubba? One, two, three. No, 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 not three. Somehow, Sexton kicks out, gets the elbow in the clothesline to Big Bubba, and Sexton is somehow still in this thing. I don't know if I'll understand that in a million years. Who can forget the two out of three falls tables match that these two had for the world heavyweight title just some time ago. Maybe that power bomb to the outside of the ring. Payback for big Bubba Mason. And Sexton now waiting for Mason to get back to his feet. European uppercut again by the champion. And a third time. And clothesline right to the back of the head. Here's a cover by Sexton. One, two, no. Sexton trying to get himself psyched up. And missed the drop kick. Does the blueprint. Mason grabs him by the throat and chucks him. Here's the cover. One, two, three. No. No, excuse me. Only a two. Mason believes that it would have been a three. Says it should have been a three. And Mason. Mason stalking him. Big boot. No, no. Sexton able to avoid it. And look at this, modified STO by Owen Gerald Sexton. And now Mason struggling to get to his feet, takes the legs, and the modified Boston Crab, you see how he's turned around the opposite way, look at that, look at the torque, look at the torque on the back of Big Baba Mason, how much of that can he take? Mason not giving it up, not yet. Trips him up and breaks the hold. Mason now, well he got the knee right to the face. Sexton now, once again picks the leg and back into the submission hold. He's really got that cinched in, the torque on the lower back, the knees, the legs. Mason once again picks the ankle and is able to break out of the hold. Bubba Mason now drapes him over the top rope like last week's wash. One, two, no. Left shoulder off the canvas again. Mason. Looking to deal the damage, looking to gain the victory over the world's heavyweight champion. Mason in control at the moment. And drops the elbow right into the sternum. Down now on the right arm and steps over him. That's a lot of weight on the rib cage. Catches the leg into the dragon screw. Sexton down across the arm. Back and forth match between these two. Wraps him up into the modified STO once again for Owen Gerald Sexton. Now as Bubba Mason in his sights once again picks the legs and back for a third time into the submission and look at him crank down and this time Bubba Mason has no choice. 
Well, Sexton originally didn't even want anything to do with this match, but Chris Van Diver wasn't going to allow him to walk away. Still, in the end, with the modified Boston Crab, it was Owen Gerald Sexton that comes away victorious here tonight. Owen, Gerald Sexton again victorious. We are out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in next week for another edition of GWA Supercharge.